it's Jack, welcome back to my channel. Quick tip on changing the remote desktop support port. So from the basic 3389, we can change it to anything you want. This is how you do this. So if you've got a router, a bit like a Sky broadband router that I have, it doesn't allow you to patch an internal port, uh, out, out, a port coming from the outside of the internet to an internal port, which normally you could change that. So 3389 internally, you would, would leave that alone. You'd map it on the router, but the router doesn't allow me to do this. So I'm gonna have to make sure I can open a port uh, number and I have to then match it with the same number on the local and net network so I need to change the port number because I can't um, say it's got to come because obviously when you use 3389 on your router it doesn't know you use it more than once you've got, you've got to change port numbers so if you need or, or if you just need to change port number uh, um, internally anyway this is how you basically do it so um, we need to run reg, reg edit so let's get reg edit fired up reg edit Oh, it's not going to play ball with me today. So reg edit. Okay, so let's open reg edit up so we can see the window. So we need to go. Let's go right to the top and open this window up a little bit more, so we can see what we're doing. So you go to um, Hey Local Machine, uh, then it's System, Current Current Control Sets Control, and then you scroll all the way down to one called Terminal Services. Um, or terminal server. And then click on the terminal server, and then it's Win Stations, and then we open it up a little bit, lot more, and we're down to RDP TCP. And on the right hand side, do a search for uh, port, and it's actually called port number. Double click on it, change it to decimal, and then it, there's the port number three three eight nine, which is the default port for any remote desktop access to any Windows 10 or Windows 7 machines. Then underneath this, you change the port number you need. So on my router, because I can't map one port number to another port number, I am gonna match it to the same one I've got on the, my router, which is 4031. We click OK, and it changes it. So make sure you are logged in as administrator to do this. We now click that off, that's all saved. And the other thing we need to also do is we need to open uh, a Windows firewall rule on the Windows machine itself, otherwise it, it, it won't pass it through and it won't work. So we just create a brand new rule for this one. So click new rule and we go port next. Um, we specify the port number which is 4031. We go next. Allow all connections, all domains, private or stuff. And then on the name, I'm basically going to call this um, RDC 431 um, inbound and we click finish and then we go to the outbound rule and we apply another rule to that easily new rule um, by port next um, port number 4031 click next uh, allow connections next allow all that's fine and then we call this RDC 4031 and we just call that out just simple naming so you can identify it a bit later when you go back into the firewall rules. That's all you need to do. And uh, as we've done a registry edit um, check, we can now um, do a full restart. Oh, I'm not trying to get the right one. Do a full restart. So make sure that actually does uh, go in and work fine. And that's it. And then uh, you open up your RDC um, connection screen and you type in the IP address and then the, the semicolon by and the new port number and away you go make sure the port number is actually in your firewall so you can gain access and that's how nice and easy it is change it so two rules change it on the registry entity and change it on the uh, firewall itself on the windows machine itself and you're good to go so thanks for watching more tips like this will coming very soon if you like this put a thumbs up don't like the video thumbs down and as always if you've got any questions on this please do comment below thanks for watching guys cheers